Next, we're going to put a drop shadow on the cinder block wall. And I also want to eliminate where the bricks are showing below the cinder blocks. The first thing I'll do is click on the background template layer and put a new layer in. And in my swatches, I'll pick maybe a 35 or 40% gray, and I'll fill it. I'm going to go to the brick layer, and I'm going to introduce a layer mask. Now I'd like to edit so I don't see the red bricks until they appear to the right hand side where the broken edge of the cinder block wall is. In my layer window, I'll command click on the layer mask for the cinder blocks. And you can see we have the shape that we want. Now I'll hit B on the keyboard. Be sure the opacity is 100% and the flow is 100%. And now I will hide the red bricks where they peek through the cinder blocks. Now I'll go to the cinder block layer and I'm going to put the drop shadow on it. And I want the drop shadow to appear to the right as it does now. If we were to look at the layer styles window with the drop shadow, I've made the angle 180 degrees. I've got the opacity set for about 35, and I've got the size set for 3. 